In these next few videos, we're going to be discussing something very important in chemistry. It's called the mole. When you hear mole, you might think of the animal, the mole, but we're actually not talking about that. What the mole is, is it's a quantity or a unit. So this number right here, this is a mole. A mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So essentially, it's a 6 with 23 zeros after it. Now we're going to use the mole for the rest of the semester, but before we talk too much about the mole, I want to talk about counting atoms. So let's spend the next few minutes and let's count atoms. This is calcium carbonate. This is a molecule of calcium carbonate. How many molecules of calcium carbonate do we have? Yeah, that's right, we just have one molecule of calcium carbonate. Do you know how many different elements are in one molecule of calcium carbonate? I think there's three. There's the element calcium, the element carbon, and the element oxygen. Well, how many atoms are there in one molecule of calcium carbonate? Let's see. There's one calcium, one carbon, and three oxygens. So that's a total of five elements. One calcium, one carbon, and three oxygens. Now, I know this was a very simple exercise, but it's exceedingly important that you understand the difference between molecules, elements, and atoms. So let's practice a few of these. Let's count how many atoms are in one molecule of calcium oxide. Well, we have one calcium and one oxygen, so that's two atoms. Incidentally, there's also two elements, the element calcium and the element oxygen. What about calcium hydroxide? Well, we have one calcium, and this right here is hydroxide, and it looks like we have two hydroxides. Every hydroxide has both one oxygen and one hydrogen. So this two here applies to both of these. So one calcium, two oxygen, and two hydrogen. So that's a total of five different atoms. Of course, there's three elements, calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. But here, we're really interested in how many atoms are there, and there's five. All right, let's look at one molecule of aluminum sulfate. Can you count the atoms? Why don't you pause the video now and give it a try? OK, we have two aluminums. We have three sulfurs. And we have 12 oxygen. Remember, this is sulfate right here. SO4, and we have three sulfates. So essentially, you have to multiply this three by the four to get 12. So two plus three plus 12, that's uh, 17. So 17 atoms. Let's do one more. How many atoms are there in one molecule of ammonium sulfate? Let's see, this is ammonium. We have two of them. And this is sulfate. We have one sulfate. So let's see, how many nitrogen atoms are there? There's two nitrogen atoms. There's eight hydrogen atoms. There's one sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms. So that's a total of 15 atoms.